Yo, welcome to today's video. It is time for me to do the necessary reconnection of my extended battery to bypass the current sensor. This car still gets up to 18 kilowatts whenever it charges, which is very good for me. Which means if I do the proper connection, 18 kilowatts go to my battery and another 18 kilowatts go to my extended battery. That's better than the 14 kilowatts that I'm getting on the other car. Okay. These are the things I think you, anybody will need to get this job done. Okay, you need something like this, uh, like, uh, well, this is what I use. You will need a 17 socket. Yeah, 17 socket to lose the nut underneath the battery. You will need this when the battery is open, 10 and uh, 14, I believe, when the battery is open. To open the security stuff, you need this torque set. I think we will need number 30 or 20. I am not sure. But when it gets to that time, I will point it out. You need a good drill. Uh, something to drop the battery on top. So I always use drop it on top of this. Okay. Uh, the wood. I'm using wood because wood will not fail me. It has always been helping me that way on both legs. And in the middle here, when you're about to jack the car up, use this guy. It's in the center, it's in the middle. Just use somewhere here and pull your jack up there. And if we jack it properly, both tires will go up at the same time. Also at the back. Uh, you need a good jack. You need something to roll around under the tire. Okay. This one is standing, that tire is on top of that. This tire is on top of this, and in the middle here, it's at the back, from the back, you see those two holes? Okay, they are right in the middle. Put your jack below there, and jack it up, and the two tires will come up together. That will help. Uh, I think I'm ready. Yes, it's like it's about to rain, and I want to get this thing out, down, before it starts raining. Okay. Another thing I would like to point out here is let's go underneath the car. Okay. Right underneath the car here. Uh, I want to show us this Nissan. People that design this thing design it well. There is a place somewhere in the middle right there here. Can you see my hand? See that point? You see that cross? If you put your jack underneath this battery at this point, that is the, the this point, the battery is balanced. The front, the back, the side, right and left. The battery is balanced. That's the point at which I'm gonna pull my jack before I lose the final bolt and it will be properly suspended without shifting forward or backward I need to point this out to everybody it's going to be very helpful uh, I believe I should remove this cable now uh, yes I should Ooh, I cannot remove it right now the car is plugged let me go out remove the plug then remove this this to get this out uh, this has to go forward all the way then there's a button beside here. Uh, there's a button up here. Oh, by the side. Yeah, right this point. Yes. You press that button. After this, this guy, the blue guy, push it all the way in. And I will have to hold this and slide it back. I cannot do it with one hand. And that's why I cannot do it right now. Alright. Raise it back up because I still have more that is not yet loose. Okay. Yeah. Where is it? Uh oh. Okay, when I let them drop it back. Okay. Let's see. Uh, at 
did that so that I can take this out. See the way I got it. <laughs> oh, see my collection over there. Okay, let me drop it on the. Okay. The next thing is it's already on what I want it to be. to this moment that I dropped the battery out I have not disconnected the two fuses don't get too familiar with this guy no don't get too familiar with them they are dangerous don't get too familiar I was getting too familiar with it will I forget this kind of thing no, don't okay when those ones are out I can then disconnect this each of them. Where is the color for this? I'm going to pull it from the net. I should do Oh, don't fall in. Okay, this is the last look before I close it. I have this here. For this cover to go in properly, I have to trim, trim some part of it. That is the only thing I, I'm not going to show before I cover it. Okay. But right now, the positive is no longer here. It's now here. The negative still goes here. So, this goes to the battery in the trunk. 
extended battery while the main battery still have it set up as it is from the OEM okay I need to cover it now yeah the car is back on ground and it's time for me to probably do the first time of let's see how it's gonna be Six, three AC on, three AC off, eighty eight. I don't mind. Maybe it is. What do we have on this pie? No. Eighteen point seven. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I can work with this. Then I will start driving it. Well, after the installation of, I mean, after the adjustment that I did I have pushed this car to this limit of getting up to 68 miles on a single charge and it's still telling me I have 16 miles remaining and here we these are the details I'm having right now 5.7 kilowatts remaining at 34 34 percent state of charge remaining and truly man man I have I'm, I'm happy with what I'm, the result I'm seeing and I hope I'll be able to get to where I'll be able to recharge it back. I'm still driving. And this time I have nine more miles <laughs> and I, I can still pull up to 77 miles or 47 miles per hour and I can still overtake people. Man, it's crazy. Four kilowatts left I'm still driving I need to get to where I will be able to recharge I'm still driving now it's 77.3 miles driven already okay I'm still driving now it's telling me at 8 miles remaining that I'm out of range I need to find somewhere to charge and my gas light I mean <laughs> oh my goodness okay I'm still driving finally before I switch it off it was I got to where I'm able to recharge at I was able to drive up to 82.8 miles and I was having 5 miles remaining this is good so if the car tells me an approximate value i can believe it now because um it told me 85 approximately when i was going and now i have 82 miles driven city and highway regular driving city and highway regular driving not trying to manage anything regular driving and i have 2.6 kilowatt remaining and at that 2.6 kilowatt remaining my state of charge is 24.24 state of charge 24 percent state of charge which is good very good very very good for a 2011 nissan leaf is good they should have done the calibration well but me I, I don't know how to do the calibration but whatever they done i am enjoying it now thank you everybody thank you for watching please like share and subscribe i am so happy for uh, what i'm seeing right now it is good now i can put myself out there this is a proof of concept i can put myself out there and say yes i can do this for you and you will have, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. You will be happy with the result immediately after it is done. What I was having before, mm, it was just okay. But now I am, it is more than okay. This is, I myself, I can say this is good. Excellent is still on the way. I am still working towards that. But right now, this is good. This is not just okay. This is very good like share and subscribe to see more fun from nissan thank you bye for now